in a preceding video that is on my YouTube channel. You can find this uh, capacitor tester. Uh, the name is Easy um, Capacitor Tester going from 100 picofarad to 100 microfarad. And there's also a preceding video. This is the schematic. Uh, it was published in the, in the 1980s by Elector International Media and all credits to G. Bauman uh, who uh, made this circuit, developed this circuit in the 1980s. As far as I know, the 1980s. This schematic is very, very simple. It is a 555 doing the job of creating a uh, frequency and where that frequency depends on the capacitor value. Much more in the earlier video. And I have adapted the circuit somewhat by using a 7805 um, voltage stabilizer because it is a measurement circuit. So the whole principle of this is that uh, a certain capacitor, certain capacitance, that's the better set, better set, gives out a certain frequency and you can uh, see that frequency on the frequency counter. So you can make a table say regarding all these frequency sorry all these capacitors here. This is my uh, capacitor bank and it goes up to approximately 100 microfarad. All these capacitors will give out a certain frequ frequency. And that means that you can also say uh, discriminate capacitors with a tolerance of 10% or even 20% to read out on the frequency counter their exact capacitance. So uh, many capacitors uh, have a tolerance of 10%. Some, sometimes even 20% and well, uh, when you need say a specific capacitor, could be that you have to test it first. Anyway, um, <coughs> sorry, this is the circuit again. I made a kind of simple wooden box here to mount the whole circuit in. Uh, here's the input. Input will be done with two crocodile clips here. <coughs> um, here you can clip in the capacitor that you want to test, be it between 100 picofarad and 100 microfarad, at least in this schematic. And here there is there are two wires going to the uh, the voltage supply. There is a 7805 um, voltage stabilizer here. It changes uh, every voltage coming in here uh, between say 7 volts and 14 volts to the 5 volt that the chip the 555 chip in this measure uh, measurement application needs. And I've mounted here a diode. You can see it here. This diode and it prevents that when you say swap the positive and the negative that the circuit is not destroyed by say giving the voltage regulator a reverse voltage. But perhaps the, the 7805 also has that prote protection inside. I don't know that, but uh, it's more or less extra. And I've used here to supply the circuit a 100 ohm resistance, resistor. That is not strictly necessary. 
and it was not in the uh, the first video. So let me show that how it works. It's very simple, by the way, and it's not strictly necessary. But here I mounted a hundred ohm resistor uh, to the say nine to 12 volt power supply. That's what I did. Want to make it better visible here in the positive lead. This is that resistor of 150 ohms. Here, 150 ohms. Not strictly necessary, by the way, anyway. Schematic again, the power supply. So the idea is that I give the whole circuit via my uh, workbench power supply, uh, say here between 7 and 15 volts. Then this cap is used, and here are two electrodes. These two they are going from the output here to the oscilloscope and the counter of course the counter the counter is more or less decisive because the um, uh, capacitor value is directly related to the frequency so I need to connect these two wires to my counter and that's here and I also connect say uh, the output to the oscilloscope to see whether there is a waveform visible. That's always important. You need to know that. Anyway, this is of this tells of course nothing. It's a, a stupid noise or whatever. And this also tells nothing. Uh, 49. Uh, well, there is no connection from the counter to the circuit, so kind of useless uh, figures. Anyway, when it works, it works okay, and you can read the, uh, you can see the the waveform, and you can read on the counter the frequency. So anyway, this will be say the final set up and I'm now going to test all the capacitors and make a table and I glue that table here to the uh, the front of the capacitor tester so that I can easily see which frequency refers to which capacitance and that was the aim of this circuit. Thanks for watching. I don't want to make a new video because everything is taught and well wish you luck in 2023. And finally the schematic.